Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 18th of April and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe we'll try a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. It gets us into early May and I should get something back for you in a moment. Just say that first, video series are 6 UK weather forecast. We've also released an update for ECM. Easter and the extended European out have been a busy day gas where we stay four bits knocking out the content I could convey about please like share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content and thank you so much everyone for doing that for gas or weather bits thank you so much everyone hope you're having a lovely Tuesday I'm gonna say hello and thank you so much to my good friend Kevin Kevin Barber gave a super thanks on yesterday day the 14th day thank you so much uh Kev that's Incredibly kind, incredibly generous of you uh, to do that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. If you'd like to give a super thanks to Gaz Weathers, you can find the thanks button sometimes underneath a video player along this bar just here, or more typically behind the three little dots there. Um, go down to the thanks button. And uh, click that, and that is how you can give a thanks. And it flags up your comment, I'll pin it as well. So uh, that's absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, uh, everyone, for doing that. Thank you so much to Kevin. Thank you so much to all of our super thankers, super chatters, uh, PayPal donators. And, of course, we've just started a Buy Me A Coffee account as well. So uh, various ways that you can help to support Gav's weather vids. And uh, we'll give you a shout-out in the vids if you would uh, like one. So, uh, thank you so much, everyone, for uh, doing that. Right, let's start off with the video. Then we're going to begin with the latest wind from Earth from EarthNoldSchool.net. So, high pressure still in control up here and up here. And bring him in from an easterly direction. <coughs> <coughs> so, sorry, everyone, again today. Um, next week temperature is now down to 10.3, that's 2.4 degrees, but 61 to 99 average in provisional to yesterday to the 7th of April. That might go sub uh, 10 when it updates tomorrow, it might go down into the nines, uh, as it was another pretty cold night in the CT region last night. Bees of a GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're going to Reading today, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Reading, starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. Uh, they're going to be coming down into the weekend, so next week reverting closer to average. So still that cooling trend uh, within the GFS, although um, there's a lot of scatter within that, so we could go quite cold if those ensemble members are right, or we could keep things relatively mild if those ensemble members are right. Fair amount of scatter there within the GEFS. Precipitation-wise, lots of dry weather to come over the next few days, but gradually turning more unsettled through the weekend, and next week looking quite unsettled as well. So that times just nicely for Easter. <laughs> um, I'm letting the cat out of the bag a little bit from the Easter update, but uh, we do see some quite large precipitation spikes. Better. There may be a dry trend after Easter. So dry before Easter, dry after Easter, unsettled over Easter may be the way we're going here. Oh dear, let's hope not. Temperature anomalies for the next uh, five days up to the 13th of April coming out above average. Precipitation anomalies for a six to ten day time frame also above average in England and Wales near a normal further north. And the 10 to 14 day temperature anomaly then comes down closer to average. So there is a cooling trend within the GEFS that gets us to the 22nd of April. Precipitation anomalies for the next uh, seven days take us to the 15th of April are drier the norm of the 8 to 14 day precipitation anomaly boat is looking rather wet, especially so the parts of England and Wales. So still there's this cooling and also more unsettled trend within the GEFS today. Right, let's start going through chart data. Then. It's the latest UK met your run. It's looking midnight on Friday. High pressure still ridgy and frothing anti, mostly dry and warm at the end of the week. Into the weekend, high pressure gradually breaks down as low pressure starts heading in from off the Atlantic. It turns more unsettled through the weekend and into next week. Low pressure knocking around the west of Europe, bringing spells of rain. 
showers and or longer spells of rain icon once more with high pressure dominating uh, the weather the end of week into weekend high pressure weakens lower pressure starts heading in from off the atlantic so turning more unsettled with icon as well starting at the weekend into next week the trend is maintained that we saw yesterday and then the KMA also breaking down that high pressure at the end of the week and into the weekend. Lower pressure beginning to take over. Next week looking unsettled with low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. Bringing belts of rain heading up towards Easter. And then into the Easter weekend we've got this uh, annoying low here that could deposit quite a bit of rain down across the south. Meanwhile further north a ridge is building. And that is putting wind into all three. So cold and wet, I'm afraid, into the Easter weekend there with the KMA and the rain particularly focused on the south. That's Easter Sunday, 20th of April, with high pressure out to the northwest. We're bringing in those cool east to northeasterly winds. And then we've got the GFS. <coughs> <coughs> So you so much more. We've got the GFS Midnight Run. Again, it breaks down that ridge over the weekend. Turns more unsettled with showers. Longer spells of rain into next week. Low pressure taking over. Um, and then this area of low pressure getting going over the continent as well. So that keeps most of the wetness of the weather over the continent. But it's a close run thing. And that could bring a real deluge as we head in towards the Easter period. Um, this is what the Easter update, first Easter update, is based upon. And it's really just cool and dry or quite chilly and dry uh, to be honest um, with uh, BGFS uh, over East Midnight Run over Easter but it's a close run thing it could turn out to be a more unsettled Easter and that's how we end up with the GFS Midnight Run today a cool and a showery uh, northwesterly wind then and then the GFS 6 said again breaks down that area of high pressure at the end of the week into the weekend lower pressure is taking over so it's an increasingly unsettled look to the weather through next week that's the 17th maybe that's more than Thursday that looks really unsettled by then doesn't it we've got high pressure blocking around Iceland and we've got these areas of low pressure underneath it one in the Atlantic one over Germany um, and there might be like a front that's just sort of strung out through there bringing a lot of rain potentially to parts of the south that's one to keep an eye on oh hang on got the phone hold on everybody huh, nuisance callers disturbing gav when he's recorded his video <laughs> okay so uh, we go on to uh, day 10 which is the 18th of april uh that's good friday of course that low pressure finally clearing out into germany taking its rain with it um, and then we're bringing in this quite cool east northeast wind. Better news both for the rest of the bank on this GFS run as high pressure sinks back down over the country. So that turns things mostly dry and warm through the remainder of the bank holiday uh, weekend. Although it's not long before um, lower pressure coming back in again. So a real mixed bag there uh, with a GFS uh, 6 then. <coughs> Pretty uh, wet leading up to the bank holiday, Easter bank holiday, but for actually Easter itself, it's Sunday, Easter Monday, not too bad. If you're enjoying the content, please you'd like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you have one for dinner, and why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all my videos, content, live streams, etc., etc. And don't forget to tell your friends about it as well as to get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, doing that. And I just say that uh, if you would like to give a donation to Gals Women, you can do so through our PayPal page. So uh, this link to the PayPal page. We've also got a Buy Me, Buy Me Coffee page that we've uh, just started. Link to both of those are in the description uh, with the uh, video. Um, so um, if you would like to give a, a donation through the PayPal page, both, then just come to our PayPal page. Uh, click through the link in the description. Go to the PayPal page, sign into PayPal account, and donate whatever you'd like to Gals Women. We'll give, we'll give you a shout out in the vids. And we Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. For Gabs, whether you might want me to pass on a message, perhaps you want a message for a loved one, a hated one, <laughs> um, uh, you know, we can show your YouTube channel, your business website, give your business a plug, whatever you would like us to do within um, the video. You know, this is like retail space as well as being a weather video, but it's also retail space. That's why uh, YouTube run me ads with the, with the videos, you know. Um, no, uh, it's, uh, it, we, we can always do that, you know. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of the support over all the years. It's helping to pay for the channel and uh, helping me to be able to do this content for everyone. So thank you so much, everyone. 
Okay, GM. Again, I've got high pressure regimes run off the Atlantic bring like dry and warm weather at the end of the week. Then high pressure breaks down and weakens as well. Low pressure heads in from off the Atlantic through the weekend. Tony Moran settlement into the weekend. And then next week we're into properly unsettled weather uh, for a while anyway. Um, that's how we're going to get to day 10, which of course is good Friday, 18th of April. High pressure back over Scandinavia. That can be this low pressure trying to head in, head in from off the Atlantic. And then the ECM rounding it all off again. We're under a nice ridge of high pressure on Friday into the weekend. That high pressure breaking down, turning more showery into the weekend, more unsettled. And then low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic as we go through into towards uh, day 10. Looking significantly uh, more unsettled then with low pressure bringing spells of rain up to day 10, which is good Friday cooler as well, with winds coming from a northerly direction, and um, it just keeps on coming, the air's low pressure keep on coming with uh, this uh, GFS run, so Easter looking pretty poor, I have to say, that's Easter Sunday that low will be bringing quite a bit of rain in from off the Atlantic that's Easter Monday, you know it looks very mixed, it looks very different to the weather patterns we've had for the past several weeks, so as we said, yesterday's been a significant pattern change looks to be on the way uh, starting at the week Okay, this is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from termmetro.com. We see a lot of dry weather until we get to uh, the weekend. And then we've got showers and longer spells of rain starting to develop next week. Increasingly unsettled with bouts of rain never all that far away. This is the option on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Gets us to the 18th of April. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles, all of them. The blocking area of high pressure up towards Greenland, Iceland, and the trough out to the west. And that's bringing up the wind from more of a southerly direction. So showers and or longer spells of rain there by day 10. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Doing that. Okay. And then to be tied, these are the options that we've got. It gets us to the 23rd of April. 21 members of the East Shell Souls, including control and the operation room. Cool and unsettled. A mid Atlantic ridge going to Greenland. And a trough of low underneath it. Showers and long spells of rain there. 19 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure right over top of the country. Mostly dry. Should be relatively uh, pleasant with that. Wouldn't necessarily say warm, but would be pleasant. And then we've got 11 with uh, low pressure. To the north east, high pressure to the northwest, and that brings down a cool northerly wind. So a range of options uh, two weeks out. We might still be unsettled. We might settle things down, and we could have quite a cold northerly. But uh, all options look quite unsettled at day 10, and then beyond that, it's a bit more uncertain. Day 10, of course, nicely time for Easter. <laughs> and then uh, CFSB2, finally, and then we don't need to 500 millibar. High to knowledge, breaking down to eight periods. The first three period takes us from the 8th through to the 14th of April. A high pressure sitting over top of the UK island, bringing a lot of dry weather. Week 2. Um, it looks much more unsettled, actually, than the model output we've just been looking at. This is the 15th to 21st of April. Low pressure down towards Spain. We've got a ridge to our east. That's going to be mostly dry and warm. Bring the wind up the southerly southeast direction. Not sure about that, based on all the other charts we've just seen. Um, but it's a possibility, I guess. And then week three will be the 22nd, 28th of April. High pressure again over the country. Mostly dry, therefore. And then finally, week four will be the 29th of April to the 5th of May with high pressure in the Atlantic going to Greenland um, and probably some sort of trough through here. So um, that looks more unsettled, but we do have a bit of a ridge over the continent as well that's trying to bring up like a more of a southerly flow. So it's a bit complicated and as it's four weeks away, not worth worrying about really. Okay, with that, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sharing from Paul Dean there. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this. All my video content, live streams, etc. Et Don't forget to tell your friends about gas. Don't forget to subscribe to Show Show Below for doing that. So uh, that's it for today's content. Tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. And there's going to be a 10 to 14 day as well. So keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.